reaction to your hunger. Yes, they are. Waffles covers everything. And we've been making some square waffles today for the first time on our deluxe electronic griddle and grill. And uh, I'm going to be doing something really fun this morning. All right. So hopefully you're watching this on the replay. I'll mention it throughout the show. I'm going to be calling some people right now. Yeah, we're going to be calling people with the mini nut, with the mini um, uh, stainless steel uh Oh my gosh, I can't think of this whisk. Okay, so we're gonna be calling some people. So let me let me go and call some people. Hello, Aiden, how are you doing? One ring and ring and dingy, two ring and dingy, dingy, three ring and dingy. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm not answering the phone, Aiden. They're not answering the phone. Why aren't these people answering the phone? Oh, we're on five ring and dingy. All right, so I am calling Monster Cookie. Monster Cookie, are you out there? If you are out there, Monster Cookie, please reach out to me. The link is in my profile, and you can. Uh, I'm going to be sending you something, okay? So you need to call me, or actually, actually, don't call me because I don't have my telephone number on here. But you have an email in my uh, uh, link tree. So message me, okay? Message me. The just scroll right down. It says send Alexis a message, and I will send you something really good back, okay? All right, let's see if another person's at home. All right, let's call another person. One ring a dingy. Two ring a dingy, three ring a dingy, ring a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding. Oh my gosh, they're not answering the phone again, Terry. Oh my gosh, Terry. Hey, I am calling Jillian, a uh, uh, triple uh, triple zero four. Jillian zero 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 four. You're not ha Jillian. Can you please call me? I am looking. For, I'm looking to send you something, and I need your email. So go into my link tree and send me a a message, and I will send you something. It is something good. You don't want to miss out on it, okay, Jillian? So I'll talk to you later. All right, let's do another one. How many more should we do? I got I got a couple of names here. All right, let's get another one. Maybe we should do a banana. Let's do the banana. You got a banana. One ring a dingy, two ring a dingy. Oh, we forgot to call. Do, 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 do. One ring a dingy, two ring a dingy, three ring a dingy. Oh, man, these people don't answer their phones these days. What's up with that? Okay, so we are calling Purple Paisley Planner. Purple Pla Paisley Planner. If you hear this message within the next few days, all right, send me a message. Send me a message, Purple Paisley. I can't believe you didn't answer the phone. I'm here live on HAPS where I can share the broadcast out. And I know you're on here because you look at, I, I got your name from my from the last um, um, uh, uh broadcast I did. All right. So I got something special for you. Okay. And if you can re reach out to me and message me, I really appreciate it. And I'll send you something in uh, by email. Okay. Or by messenger if you have messenger too. All right. Talk to you later. Purple planner, please. And that bye. All right. Let's see. Uh, maybe we should do another one throughout the day. Hello, Kimberly Polly. How are you doing? It's 40 degrees here. I love that show. You know, it's one ring. Lily Tomlin, if y'all know who that is. We're going to be calling out some people in the next couple of days. And I'm going to be sending some people some really fabulous stuff. All right. But they have to message me back. So if your name is called, please message me. All right. And I will send you something special just for you. Hello, D Bitsy. Oh, my God, D Bitsy. Oh my goodness. No, no, it's not D Bitsy. You were one of the, I think the ones that were supposed to be on this list, D Bitsy, but I got, I got, um, who did we, who do we call? We have uh, Jillian and Purple Planner and I just did two, right? Did I just do two? <laughs> let's do another one. Okay. Let's do, let's call somebody else. Do, let's do the rotary dot, the, the, the old fashioned one. We're calling people, okay? Hello from Milton, Kenya. I, I didn't call you yet there, um, Mako. All right, so we are calling one ring a ding, two ring a dingy, three ring a dingy. Nobody answers the phone, y'all. Would you answer your banana phone, okay? All right, so I'm calling Monster Cookie. If you are Monster Cookie, hey, Monster Cookie. Okay, oh man, his, his voicemail sounds like him <sighs> or her. All right, hey, Monster Cookie. Uh, you need to reach out to me. I got something I want to send to you. Uh, you can, the link is in my profile in the link tree and, um, just message me. I can email it over to you. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. We got all those people down. All right. So we got, we got three. I got to remember which ones I did so we don't redo it. Right. Oh, well, yeah, it's one way, you know, to get people to talk to you. You know, I still have a rotary phone in my basement. <laughs> Marsha, how you doing? All right, so let me go back. My name is Alexis. I'm an independent consultant for Pampered Chef, and I come live here on HAPS, and I share out to YouTube, Twitter, uh, 
I forget where else, Periscope and Facebook. And I actually have it on the Facebook business page and my VIP page. If you're interested in any of the Pampered Chef, we have several parties going on, including the um, customer appreciation party. Customer appreciation party, you will get something special on that has a has a discount off, okay? You're split, you're split. You're spoiled on here, says Wheezy. Yeah, Wheezy. Well, he was over on on um, Periscope with us. More breakfast stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do breakfast stuff, and we're gonna be doing dinner stuff too. So invite your friends over. So a couple different things, right? Right off the bat, make sure you do a reaction. Give me a heart, a thumbs up, a hug, or even a cry. Give me one of those reactions wherever you are. Give me a reaction, especially if you're on YouTube. A thumbs up. If you're on Facebook, give me a heart, a hug, a cry, and same here on on half. All right. If you're on Periscope, please keep tapping those hearts. Don't get that little finger rusted because it, the hearts may be coming to a haps near you. Okay. So you want to do that. All right. Uh, does it work? LOL. Does it work? You're so funny. What a way to wake up. <laughs> you know, I saw, okay. So I was on this, um, uh, we have a open mic night on Tuesday nights with, the, with my pampered chef and another team. Uh, I've got, actually, I think there's a couple teams in there and, uh, I was at the end of the thing and people were like, was there anything new or anything exciting that, that we can do in our shows? And I said, you know what? This is what you're going to do. You're going to get a pampered chef toy. You're going to go one ring a ding ding ding, two ring a ding ding ding, three ring a ding. Oh my gosh. You're not home. You missed out. I have a great gift for you. Can you message me? All right. And then that way you get those people on Facebook to message you, Terry. So anyway, <laughs> I tell you what, I was I was here all over standing right here. I, I could see Aiden standing here, Wheezy, Marsha down there. Okay. So yeah, you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Terry's probably saying, I should have had a V8, right? Especially coming on my broadcast, you never know what you're gonna get. And so they said on that open mic, uh, because we're on Zoom, right? And there's like probably six or eight of us, I think there were six of us at the end of it when I was doing this thing. And uh, my Heidi, my upline was like, You should have saw so and so's face. She was like what the heck are you doing? I'm like, but you know what? You get a reaction. All right. And then that way, when you're in a virtual party, all right. And you're going to let them, the guests know, I'm going to let the guests know this week saying, Hey, I'm going to be uh, shouting out. All right. And I'm going to just pull up some people that are active in there or that are not active and uh, shout out their names. And if they message me, then they get a free gift. Okay. So anyway, that's that. Uh, we are going to be using uh, this, the uh, new, this new baby there. Um, 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 I'm like, fawning over my new tool. Okay. I pulled it out y'all. Uh, nearly afternoon. It's 557. Oh, wow. Okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. All right. So I'm here, uh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Alexis. I'm an independent consultant for Pampered Chef. I live here in Southeast coastal Georgia, Woodbine to be exact, but it says, um, uh, Brunswick. And I teach you how to use your kitchen tools. Okay. Pretty much so. And I teach you with the recipes. All right. Or what I use, I show you what, how to use the products from beginning to end. And if I screw up, you know what, then we screw up together. All right. But I try to do recipes that I have not tried before, or if I have tried them, then I'm like, I walk you through the whole steps. So hopefully we can get through the waffles this morning and then I'm going to be doing my dinner. And my dinner is, is a cabbage bake, a cabbage bake. It is uh, basically three ingredients. It is cabbage, actually four, uh, cabbage. Uh, oh, we can put carrots in there. We can do, we can put more. I can go get some carrots. Yeah. All right. So, um, we can do, uh, it's potatoes, cabbage, a little bit of bacon, and, um, we're going to put some carrots in there cause I need some other veggies and some chicken broth. And you just let that simmer all day long. And it is wonderful. I'm having a cup of tea. I could use and eat and crumpet. I know really wheezy. All right. So let's get some water. Where did I put my water? Way over here. That's pleasant. All right. So cheers while we're having our water. All right. Haven't seen Mary lately. Mary must have been moving. Okay. I love cabbage. I know the cabbage. It's just a cabbage cake. It's really simple. Um, it is Weight Watcher friendly. Bacon is like hardly any points for like two slices of bacon. That's all you're going to do. And then you can actually throw in there. Hey, Miriam, how are you doing? You can actually throw in a hot dog on this one at the end. Okay. And just let, just steam up the hot dog works wonders for me. Okay. All right. So, um, I gotta move some stuff over here, y'all. This is going to work. All right. I got, I got these strawberries to go on my, um, on my, uh, 
uh, waffles here. <laughs> I've got strawberries. And then I got my pan waffle pancake mix, which you're going to be doing this up. And again, I'm only doing like one quarter of these. And it says, uh, the ladies last night said it makes a little bit more than what the, what the package says. So uh, we're only going to be making two waffles, y'all. So if you miss the show, you miss the show. You have to come back and watch the replay, okay? Because I'm not making waffles up my ear and then having, you can make a lot of waffles. I could make the entire batch and freeze them. But then I wouldn't have anything to scope later on, right? Hey, Mary's here. Mary's here. Oh, my gosh, Mary. Oh, man, I was wondering where you were, Mary. Haven't seen you in, in days live, you know? Like, sounds bad. I haven't seen you in days. Like, uh, I, I, I've just been missing you, I guess. You're on my mind. All right, so anyway, uh, hopefully the move went well. Did you move? Get everything moved, Mary? Where, you know, talk to me later. All right, so anyway, uh, we're having our water on Mary. All right, so anyway, I'm going to angle this down. I'm going to show you what we're doing here, okay? I don't think I can angle it down. Okay, so this this um, this tripod is not going to work this way. So let me get the other tripod out. All right. So my phone is very heavy. We got a new tripod, y'all. Can I get you off? So this one is a little bit heavy. I'm going to switch my tripods out. Maybe we can do it the other way. All right. There. Get, get the big baby out. See the difference in this tripod. I'm going to show you the difference. Okay, here we go. We got it. This is this is my old one that's broken. Okay, it's been Jimmy rigged down here with the electrical tape. Okay, Jimmy rigged with this so that we have a sturdy balance so it doesn't fall over. And then this one here is a little bit more. Um, it's lighter. It's it doesn't hold my heavy phone. Uh, when I get my other phone on, I'll show you what it, what what it looks like. Uh, so it doesn't. It's it's very. This thing here is not strong enough to hold my Max phone with my um, intense uh, cover that I have on it. Okay. Uh, so that's that. So I'm having some technical difficulties here. All right. So let's put you up here. There. Hands free. All right, so there we go. And I still love this one. I still got to find one that's a little bit more sturdy. This one is a lot sturdier than the other one. No, no, not all, not all moved. Oh boy. All right, so I'm going to angle you down, and we're going to keep you on here just like that, okay? So that you can see um, the comments are at the bottom, so you, so you don't have to look at the the comments going unless you're on uh, Facebook and Periscope. Then you, Periscope is screwed up. They only it only goes landscape. So, uh, but they only have, they only have twenty some days left. Twenty eight days left. All right. So this one here is the uh, electric. No, I have to get the right right name. I should write it over here. Electric. We got it wrong again, Alexis. Deluxe electric grill and griddle. Okay, and it is a brand new baby by Pamper Chef. It just came out uh, on Monday, and you have there's an on and off uh, switch right here. So it can stay plugged in on your countertop, and you can turn it off. Okay, see how it turns on and off. And I'll, let's see if I can turn that off so you can see. There we go. So you can see it on and off, off and on. All right. And it does have a plug over here, but it has a little, you can wrap the cord back here and then store it upright. Okay. So if this was, um, I don't know how I, we can store it upright and this can go, this can go in anywhere that you want. It can store right up. Okay. It does have a nice drip tray. So if you're doing bacon or uh, ready eggs that I have, it, it can go in your drip tray. It also has a um, a nice probe. Let me put this further back. The probe is a, uh, therm a thermometer that you can put in. And I was thinking, oh my God, this is going to be a change game changer on grilling chicken because now we know exactly what the temperature we want on our chicken. Because chicken is the hardest thing for me to cook uh, to make sure that it is all all um, uh, cooked all the way through. And then sometimes it comes out dry. So that is going to be a game changer on chicken or on hamburgers if you want hamburgers medium i like mine medium medium well actually medium well all right so anyway uh th this is the new baby when we turn it on turn it on alexis there you go it has six preset uh functions just like our air fryer it has custom that you can do anything that you want with it adjust the time and touch adjust the temperature you can have uh let me go back sear sear is uh like <laughs> I don't know, three minutes, 30 seconds, I don't know, and uh, 450 degrees. The other one's panini, which is 375 degrees. We can grill at 400. Griddle, the griddle, which is what we're going to be using today, is 350 degrees. And then just keep warm. Because sometimes you have, like, your food, and you're, like, your family's still outside, and you're trying to call them, and you're like, oh, my God, my food's going to get cold. Uh, you can just keep it warm, and it's going to keep warming on it, okay? So we're going to open this up. I'm going to cancel this. Cancel it off. Cancel. 
Uh, cancel on that. All right. So when you open it up, I am keeping this in the middle. So I have, it, it doesn't ever touch. Okay. Cause these plates are very sensitive and they will scratch if you use any metal on them. Okay. The plates pop in and out and there's three sets of plates that can come with the, with the full set. It, it comes in two. It comes in the, um, the, uh, um, the griddle here and the grill is one set. And then you can get all the bulk of these and the, uh, waffle, uh, set. So we're going to take these out and I'll show you how easy it is to take it out. And there's like little plugs right here that you plug it right in on this side here. Okay. So let me switch these out. In the meantime, I can switch them out and then put them, put this like this so I can, um, uh, put the other ones in and we have the other one right here, which is the waffle grill that we're going to be using up. And again, it looks the same on the back. We're going to take that little plastic thing off and put this right in there and put that up there and again we can take take this one off it's there's a little knob on the top let me see right here there we go right there there's a little um little lever that releases it and then you just put pop it back in and it releases right out and it comes out okay so when i store these when i'm not using it i do have my um my my plastic thing between here. Okay. So save that plastic when you get it. All right. And then I have the, have the other one and I kept these in the bag. You don't only have two of those plastic things. All right. I'm going to keep that thing off and we're going to slide that second gr griddle right up on top here. Okay. Just like that. And it pops right in. How easy is that? Okay. So we got that going. Um, we're going to angle it down and we're going to put it on uh, we're going to cook it. <laughs> we're going to cook it. Let me see what the, what the comments are here. And then I'll move. Good morning, uh, Gary Price. How are you doing? Athens, Georgia. Hey, your son's probably still sleeping. Yeah, he probably, no, I think he, no, he might have a job today. I don't know if he's at the job, he's there at, at seven. So I don't know. Hey, good morning, Melissa, Sarah. How are you doing? How's Jacob doing these days? All right. So, um, uh, if you don't know, my name is Alexis. I'm an independent consultant for Pampered Chef. All the tools you see are available for sale. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're going to put you, I'm going to keep you right here. Let me get that banana out of the way. There we go. And we're going to keep you down just like that. All right. And now I'm going to try and do the broadcast from my second phone if I could find it. Uh, let's see. Because we have everything all over the place. All right. And we're going to go live on HAPS. I'm going to get my... Give me my password and you can like figure it out right there we go all right um we're gonna go live on halves on our second phone and i'm gonna uh, make up the mix on the other side okay that way i don't have to flip this camera over the other way all right uh let's see Ooh, let's see go live there we go so i'm gonna go live and this is we're gonna go right into easy waffles and we're gonna go what's your profession Pampered Chef Consults, and of course, Pampered Chef, Chef, oh, I can't spell C-H-E-F, and it's not like me, C-O-N-S-U, why is it asking me who I am? Okay, well, next, enable the camera, okay, enable microphone, okay, okay, and then let's go, all right, let's see if this is going to bring us up, and we'll be over here. Go back. Go back. We want to do this one. All right. So we're on the same one. Next step. I'm doing a picture. The same one. Next step. Okay. Let me see if I can turn off the thing. Okay. There we go. We didn't set this up very well. Oops. We have, we have to do it, it that way. We have to do it long way. Flip it over that way. All right. Are you seeing two screens? All right. Is everybody seeing two screens? Oh, we're having bad feedback. Nope. It may not work. I think we're better. Uh, 
All right. Is that better? Is that better? Just one. You're just saying one? Oh. It says pre live. Okay, I'm hearing myself, so let me get this off. Turn off camera hide comments cancel. Nope. So, I don't think it's going to work. There we go. Mm -mm. It's, that's not going to work either. All right. Well, we tried it. Let me see if I do it the other way. Well, only if I push it further back, you can be able to see what's in the bowl. All right. This, this, this one, bad camera, bad camera. Yeah, bad. All right. We're going to go back. All right. Let's see. Well, I tried. I tried to do it. I got it. I just got to get a better, better um, tripod because I can't flip you around on that other one. And we tried to do it two, two screens, but that won't let me do it. So we're going to put that away and I got to move you over on this side. No big deal, Tony. Tony, we're, we all are still learning on this HAPS app and my tripod died. So if anybody has a really good tripod that I can flip forward and back, this one does not. It only goes down and it is very, very lightweight. And so my phone is way too uh, thick. Uh, let me see if I can get a picture of it, how, how thick my phone is. All right. There we go. All right. And this is, this is what I'm, I'm going to show you how thick it is. Oh, not you too. All right, so here's my phone. All right, I have a big i i Max phone, and it is it is at least I would say almost a half an inch thick. All right, on here, right there. All right, you can't even see it there. It's it's right there, but that's that's my phone, and my phone is is a very heavy one. Whereas this one is very thin, but the battery dies like super quick. So that's just my backup little phone. Hello, get Larry Tate from um, Kansas City. How are you doing in Kansas City? All right, so let's put this over here. All right, I'm going to flip my phone so you can see what I'm doing. All right, and we have it in the bowl. All right, so we're going to be having, we're going to be doing some milk. All right, and you can use almond milk, whole milk, skim milk, whatever kind of milk you want. Uh, I have my butter ready to go. And then we have our waffle pancake mix, or my pancake waffle mix by Pampered Chef. All right, I am not making for to the um, this whole recipe because it makes uh, 24 pancakes or eight waffles. So I only really want to make two waffles. So I'm going to do this uh, quarter. So I'm going to use a quarter cup of milk, um, uh, a half a tea, a half a tablespoon of melted butter, which is one and a half teaspoons. Okay, and then um, one fourth of this package of of waffle mix. All right. And this is like, I know you all have a lot of, um, and I already, this is my scale down here. And I already measured my bowl out that it, um, it comes out to zero when I put on here. Okay. And so I just, uh, and the, look at my weight of my package is like, uh, 13 ounces. So there's about 12 ounces in here. So I really want about four ounces I know three ounces in here of mix. Okay. Cause three times four is 12 and that's one quarter of this package. All right. So we're doing math today. We're doing math. All right. Who is good at math? Anybody good at math? All right. I, I wasn't very good at math in, in high school, but I got really good when I, um, outside of uh, when I went to college, I, I did math pretty good, pretty well. And after I got out, I got, got, got really, really well at math. All right. So we're just going to go up to three ounces. There we go. A little over. No big deal. All right. And this one actually has a resealable. Uh, it has a little, um, it's a little resealable area there. So we're going to reseal that. And we're going to add in the rest of our ingredients. I'm going to add in uh, most of my milk. I'm not going to add in a lot. And I'm going to use my uh, stainless steel whisk. Okay. Here. And we're just going to mix this up. All right. Hello, Brad Pitt is in the house. Not me. All right. So uh, I'm done with the scale. The scale did our, did its thing. We only needed three ounces of that in there. Uh, you meant I measured the bowl out first. 
brought it to zero and this definitely needs all the milk here and most of the butter i'm leaving some butter for for the the grill okay all right and just mix it all in all right while this is doing this i'm gonna actually go over here and put put it on the griddle or griddle there we go let's see on uh brush oil on the waffle iron or electric griddle at 375 degrees let me see if we go 375 so cancel that 375 custom there we go all right it's heating up all right so we got that which at 375 degrees is what we need the griddle to be all right and we're going to mix this up and yes i do need some more liquid all right if you put all the liquid in they're going to have to add in more flour if it's or the more mix if it's not oh yeah that's a perfect ma match okay because you want it thick you want it like a milkshake you see how that material is and this little whisk does great all right we're just incorporating a little bit of air in there just mix it all up and then let it sit for a few minutes and let it activate okay so that was pretty easy how how easy can you get on making a uh, pancake mix now this this here is a pan uh, pampered chef when it just became available and we're going to see how it tastes and uh we'll go from there now there's oh the, the donuts yesterday it needed more nutmeg i thought all right i hate math it hurts my head says terry oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. all right so we're gonna let that sit we're gonna come over here and flip the camera back over and put it on the grill there we go oh can you just touch it once alexis there you go we still have to figure the, figure the double double um uh camera i did it one time but i did it on my on my um laptop one of the very first broadcasts I did on HAPS. All right. So let's put the, the light back on. Does the light, is the light better on or off? Probably off. Is the light better on or off? The light is off right now. <laughs> but we're putting it on the griddle and then we're going to um, move this over. And I need to get my brush. Y'all got this um, as a free gift in, in uh, February. So we can use this to brush our oil on our grill pans. Okay. Our butter. All right. Just need a little bit. So it, how many points are in the waffles? Probably four points, okay, on each one. I didn't calculate it out, but I'm going with four points. I'm not giving myself anymore. It could be five, all right? But uh, yeah, it's probably five because I put whole milk in there rather than almond milk, all right? Uh, and it's, you know, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's my points and not anybody else's points, all right? It's better off. Okay, thanks, everybody. All right, so we got that. Uh, we're gonna heat it up. It's gonna beep at us when it gets when it gets hot. We should have turned it on when I, before I started making the mix. But human error, y'all. Human error. Look at my hair sticking straight up, and y'all didn't tell me. Wow, y'all are really good. All right, so <laughs> let's drink some more water, and then we can have a cup of coffee too. All right, and see how I'm slightly I'm like crooked from here is because my my tripod's dying on me. Okay. So back to the drawing board on on um on um tripods all right so if anybody has a really good sturdy sturdy um tripod we need a sturdy tripod and uh so that's that's that that is on my wish list y'all not bad not bad okay uh i got the all right so we're gonna get these done and we're gonna make one for my mom and one for me all right I'm not doing two whole ones for myself, just one waffle, okay? So you see how if you are uh, a single person living by yourself, which we have a lot of you out there that are like uh, onesies here, uh, or if you have two people like my mom and I, you can break down recipes and make half of it. So if something says it's for eight people and there's only two of you in your house, make it for four and you have leftovers for the next day. <clears throat> or divide it into fours and you only make it for two people and then you don't have any leftovers because some people don't like leftovers put a one in the box if you if um put a left put leftovers in the box if you like leftovers put a one in the box saying no leftovers no leftovers here one is no leftovers put one in the box for no leftovers two for leftovers you like leftovers we have um actually oh my gosh i don't need to do that today the cabbage break because i have the pasta but we can do the cabbage break I'm fighting amongst myself, y'all. Look, at you see me talking to myself. Do not call the funny farm, okay? Um, 
because I have the pasta left over from yesterday. So we can have that for dinner and I'll have the cabbage bake for lunch. How's that? That sounds really good. All right. So Brad Pitt does not like the leftovers. Brad Pittless. All right. I got the, uh, so that uh, macaroni, the goulash I made last, like yesterday, my mom ate the whole bowl. Bam, bam, bam on, on, on donuts. She ate, she ate all four donuts and Will this sit on the countertop and work for a while? I don't know. And then, um, uh, and she ate the goulash, the entire bowl I gave her. Okay. So that was really good. Uh, so I got, I got leftovers, y'all. I got a lot of leftovers. We got that leftovers and this is still heating up. It's not beeping at me yet. All right. Cause you don't want to put it in with that. And then I have, oh my gosh, maybe I better hold, hold off on the cabbage, bacon and potatoes till tomorrow, y'all. I'm calling the funny farm. All right, so I have I have leftovers. I don't think I need to make the cabbage bake. All right, so anyway, uh, this one is the ratatouille. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. I'm telling you, this stuff is great. Put a little protein with this. You have a great um, uh, lunch today for Alexis. And then we have this nice, um, uh, the goulash. Now this one here, since it's tomato and it was really high up, all right. I put plastic wrap over it because I don't want my, my plastic to turn red. All right. And we had the goulash. Okay. And this is a good Hungarian goulash y'all. And it was yummy, yummy. It's ba basically, um, uh, beef and macaroni. <laughs> yeah. It depends upon what it is. Some of the, <laughs> you should. All right. So if you're watching this, you have to go back on the replay. And, uh, I gave, I gave a shout out to, I think three names. Yeah. Three names we did and they have to see, um, they have to message me back. Okay. I gave, I gave a shout out. All right. I'm going to give a shout two more, two more shout outs. Okay. We'll do two more shout outs. All right. All right. Those are my leftovers. So I got a lot of leftovers, y'all. Just sent you a link, a tripod. I think we're about, okay. All right. So I'm going to give a shout out. Let's do the run ring and dingy. All right. Since we haven't used this, let's do this. Let's call them. Okay. Man, these rotary phones are really hard. Okay. Let's do it. One ring a dingy, two ring a dingy, three ring a dingy. They're never home when I call on these instruments here. Man, why don't they? Pick, why don't people pick up their phones? You know, Three, four ring a dingy, five ring a dingy. Who am I calling, y'all? Let me see. I, he might be here. I'm calling Chris Bruce. Chris Bruce. All right. Hey, Chris. Chris, I got your voicemail. Can you please message me the link? Um, it's it's on a Haps here. You can. If there's a but, but oh my my machine's ready to go. But anyway, I'm gonna send you something. Okay, by email. And um, uh, I need your email. So can you please message me sometime today, tomorrow, whenever you see the HAPS. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Uh, I'm saying hello to you on on, Paris, on uh, HAPS here <clears throat> or wherever you're watching me. All right. So nice. Uh, thank you for watching the scopes. And I will talk to you later. All right. Bye. All right. You want to do another one? You want to do another one? All right. Let's do another one. I think we need a different, different one. Let's get the banana out. The banana. Crazy banana. <sighs> This one's digital, I think. Do, 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 Okay, let's call. One ring a dingy, two ring a dingy, three ring a dingy. Man, man, why are we always waiting this? Whew. Four ring a dingy, five ring a dingy. Oh, voicemail again. <gasps> hey, uh, Sayeds PG, how are you doing? This is uh, I'm calling. I'm, I'm looking for a person. I'm not sure. This is Alexis with Pampered Chef. And I'm looking for says PG. It's S A Y dash D P G or S A I D Z P G. I'm looking for you. And if you can please message me, the uh, you got the number. The link is in my um, haps here, and you can message me, and I will send you something. Okay, I want to send you something. So thanks for watching on haps and all the other social media, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. All right. So anyway, there we go. So we got that. Y'all, I got to keep you awake, right? And plus then this, this heated up, okay? I can smell it. It's heating up. All right, so we got this. Uh, this is the uh, uh, Deluxe Electronic Grill and Griddle. And uh, we're going to open it up. And we see that it has the waffle things in here. Earlier, I showed you how to put them in and out. We went through all the six customs here. We can do different times, temperatures. We can change the temperature of the top and the bottom. But for this one, we want to keep them the same temperature. We have a probe, which I show you. It's in the drip tray here. 
and then we can add seconds on here or cancel everything off. Okay, so okay, here we go. All right, so it's counting down. We have nine minutes while this is cooking. All right, and uh, we're gonna put some butter. We're gonna put some butter on here because everything's better with butter, y'all. All right, it could be oil too, but I'm just putting the butter on here just because we have it in the bowl. Okay, get it nice and greased up. All right, so it doesn't stick. All right, and now we're gonna add in our our waffle mix. All right, I need to get a different get a scraper in here, not this, not the whisk. Let's get a scraper. All right, let's get, oh, I'm going to do the scraper. I always figure out what scraper do I want to use. All right, so I got brown butter in there now. All right, let's put some on here. All right, and I probably could have had my batter a little bit thicker. Okay, but I'm only making two waffles. Okay, there we go. Let's have a, help it out a little bit. That can be perfect waffles, but all right. Now I don't know. I don't know that they don't know. Oh my goodness, how long it takes. <laughs> so, because this is the first time I'm using this, all right. And spread it out. Hopefully the the pan will spread it out too. Okay. There we go. I don't want it over. I, well, I know it's not going to run over, so let's just leave it like that. So we just did two waffles in the waffle maker. Okay. Now, if you have a whole bunch of people, you can do two at a time because most waffle makers only make one at a time. But these are nice two big size ones. And you know what I'm really looking forward to um, when I get down to my, my goal weight is doing those cheddar, cheddar chive waffles that we did a while back. Remember we did the cheddar chive in the puff waffle maker? That would be really good in here. Oh, man, it's like steaming up here, y'all. I'm getting a steam bath. I'm going to smell like waffles all day today. Woo! <laughs> it is steaming up. It is steaming up. If I, you can't see the steam. Can you see the steam? Yeah, there you can see the steam. It's steaming on me. It's steaming on me, y'all. All right, so now, how long do we cook it in here? I don't know. Uh, let's see. All right, so uh, cooks golden brown for two and a half to four minutes. Alexa, set the alarm for two and a half minutes. Two minutes and 30 seconds, starting now. All right. Hopped on Donna's yoga broadcast straight to waffles. Yep, go from yoga to waffles, yo. But we don't, we're, we're eating healthy. We're only eating one waffle and we're having some some strawberries with it, okay? So, hey, you know, definitely do. Come on now. Plus then I got to take some pictures of this thing. Oh my gosh, we got to get the pictures. Where's the, where's the other phone at, y'all? We took that phone down, but where do we put it? Oh, here. Okay. Got to take the pictures, y'all. Hello from Dallas, Heavenly, Heavenly Do. How are you doing? All right, so let me see what Terry sent me. Uh, let's see. Terry, Terry, where are you at? Will this sit on the counter? Yeah, that looks, oh, my God, that one looks so much better, Terry. Oh, where's it at? The amazing social light. Oh, how much is this, Terry? How much is that? Terry, how much is that? Oh, it's starting to smell. I think it's almost done. That works. That's going to work. I think that's going to flip. Now, how, how do I get there? Okay. Click here. Social light. We don't need, we, you, you can use your um, Pampered Chef um, light to, there too. Did you, oh shoot. We forgot to add the pea protein, Monica. Should have, where were you two, 10 minutes ago? All right. So we could add pea protein to the thing and, and that would have been really good too. But oh, this is definitely done. All right. So it's definitely done. It looks phenomenal. Okay. These waffles look super good. Like we need to take a picture. We need to take a picture, y'all. Okay. There we go. I need to put a different light on there. There we go. Put the light on the subject. All right. So we got a picture. There we go. Oh, these are pretty. These are really, really pretty. Let's get that little fork out that we have from Pampered Chef. This came from with the waffle puff pan. And oh, man, I love these. We may have to make some more. Forget mom. I'm going to eat these. Okay. So, anyway. oh my gosh, these are beautiful waffles, y'all. Like these are quality at, um, we can cancel this off. All right. Uh, we can, we, these are like, this looks like the waffles you get at Waffle House. Okay. So Amazon. Okay. Amazon. All right. Uh, definitely. Uh, that one looks like I can do it. Alexa, turn the timer off. So 
pretty good. Two minutes. Because we had our, uh, our our waffle maker really, really hot. I like them. And I, I sort of like the rustic edges right here rather than having a perfect one. So uh, success here. All right, I need to put this on a plate. We got one for mom. Okay, one for mom. We're going to put one for mom. We'll put it over on the side. Okay, there we go. And here's the other one. I'm going to eat this one just the way it is. We're going to see how it is. All right, let's see. Oh, we're still crooked, y'all. All right, I'm going to check that one out. Mmm, this is going to be really good. Peace little puzzles, yeah. This mix is good. Doesn't even taste like pancakes. I'm going to put this down because I don't want to get burnt. <laughs> we'll cool it off. This is good. Let's get some coffee. I'm, I'm going to leave the cabbage bake till, because this we only have waffles on here anyway, till tomorrow. Um, because I have leftovers in there. No. Save yourself the calories. This is good just the way it is. Ah. Okay. So, wow. Mm. Let's get some coffee going. All right. Coffee, coffee. All right. It's not hot either. The top isn't hot. All right, let's put that in. Some coffee. Good to the last drop, Maxwell House. There we go. Oh, man. I think we'll have a short one today. We'll have a short one today. Yum, 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 yum. All right, uh, this. So, waffles, success, success. Did you say, yeah, cabbage bake, cabbage bake. Maybe I'll come back in later. It's really easy. You can do it either in the in the quick cooker. You can do it in your slow cooker. You can do it on your stove top. Different ways of doing it. Um, I did bring out the bacon, though. So all the cabbage bake is, all right? You put some bacon uh, pieces in there, like, you know, four pieces. I'm only doing it for, for two of us. So I'll probably put three no four pieces of bacon in there um you can you can brown off if you have extra bacon left over from something you can put that in there like already pre-cooked ones or uncooked one uh you put in like a cabbage just slice up your cabbage into bite-sized pieces uh a couple potatoes in there uh put a carrot in there because you want more some more veggies than than just cabbage and then put in some uh broth and let it sit there and let it simmer all day Cabbage bake in the oven. Yeah. Oh, in the oven. There you go. I didn't even think of it in the oven. Whoa. Should have had a V8, right? All right. So, wow. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Man, this is good, y'all. This is good. And we got a waffle here. I should change out the uh, these these things, and we can make an egg on here. Um, should we make an egg? We're gonna do the cabbage bake. We'll do it tomorrow's Thursday. We can do the cabbage bake tomorrow. I just remember I have all those leftovers in there. And I told my mom we'll eat leftovers tomorrow. Mmm. This is crisp. If you like crispy uh, waffles, this is definitely crispy waffles. It is not Belgium soft waffles, but I like waffles that are crispy, all right? <laughs> I don't drink V8. I can't stand V8, but my mother buys it all the time, and she uses the jar opener to open them up. It's the, it's the one tool my mother uses religiously more than I do, okay, is the jar opener. I'm not kidding you, because if I'm not around, she cannot open up the the jars to, like, the, the tops to drinks, okay? And so she gets that jar thing out. I have it in a convenient location, and she gets it, and she opens it up. I love my Keurig. It's a Keurig machine. I just use a reusable um, basket. This costs pennies versus like a lot of cents on those ones you get for like, what, 12 for seven bucks. You can get the whole container of 100, 100 cups in there for, for seven bucks. <laughs> oh, matzo. Mmm. I wonder if you can make that in here, Wheezy. You have a recipe? Wheezy, you're not Jewish, are you? 
you have a, you have a matzo ball, matzo um, recipe that you can make your own matzo, because look how thin this is. This is really thin. Now we could have said, I could have saved some points and done, done it with almond milk, but my mom has milk to use up in there. So I use whole milk. Okay. My hubby drinks them. I cannot. Oh, coffee. Oh, V8. Uh, what does your hubby drink? Coffee or V8? We're talking two different things here. Uh, this is great, y'all. I'm, I'm glad I put that other one over there for my mom. Your girlfriend's Jewish? Okay. Is she um, is she a, a practicing Jewish person? Because, you know, there's a lot of Jewish people that don't, that aren't, they don't practice, you know, the, um, the two different things. Like, like if I, if I touch this with a meat, then I can't use it for something else. I forget how it is. Uh, they keep a kosher kitchen keep a kosher kitchen. Uh, I do have a friend, uh, Barry, her name is Barry. I still have another friend that's still Jew Jewish. And they taught me the word, oh, oh, way, oh, oh, way, oi, 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 and oh, way. <laughs> Dixie Cup of Joe, how are you doing in the house? Dixie Cup of Joe. <laughs> she's Jewish, but she's an atheist. <laughs> that sort of contradicts each other. <laughs> hubby, uh, V8 coffee. Okay, hubby is V8 and coffee for you. Yeah, that V8. You know, I do use V8. Like if you want to do like a, a tomato soup or um, let me see, if you want to put anything, if you're if you're short on like tomato juice or uh, tomato stock, just use the V8. You can use that. I might just put my hair, I haven't touched my hair, but I'm eating this myself. Mm. Oy vey. Oy vey. I can't mix meat and milk. You can't. Uh, Marsha, are you Jewish too? Doesn't matter to me, but some of my uh, some of my good coworkers were when I worked at the Hotel Nico in Atlanta were Jewish. Okay, and they had the best thirteen the the thirteenth um, birthday party ever at the bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs. <laughs> Man, they go all out. It's like a wedding for a little kid, uh, and then they have the best weddings. Jewish people have the best weddings, y'all. Okay, just saying, hands down, telling you what they had the best weddings. <laughs> I know. I, we used to do a lot of weddings. We used to just, uh, the first time I went to a Southern wedding, I thought I was going to, I, I went hungry. I went home hungry. Uh, it, it would, no, I, I, I called my mother and I said, oh my God, I went to this, this uh, Baptist wedding and they just had cake and punch. And that was it. Um, if you're in the North, okay. And you know, I would lived in Pennsylvania, a wedding for us was a sit down dinner. You would have like the reception beforehand with pasta d'oeuvres or like a couple little things. And then you go down, you have a sit down dinner and then you have a party and everything else. And that was, that was the wedding. All right. Down South, you say, you're going to meet at the church. Well, you got to meet at the church. If they say they're getting married and this is the same with Jewish people. Well, not quite as much. Um, when you say you're getting married at 10 o'clock. All right. Everybody needs to be in the pew ready to go before 10 o'clock because the bride is walking down the aisle at 10 o'clock y'all. Okay. So don't be coming in at 10 Oh five. Cause you already, the bride went down and without you. Okay. <laughs> no dancing. Oh yeah. We had dancing up North. You do not back to sweating. There's no dancing. No, no dancing. And, and usually it's just like you have the, uh, and this is my first wedding that I went to. I still remember it. I actually had a few of them. I was a friend of the groom and the groom was out there making him a power shake in the car after the wedding. I was like, huh? <laughs> that was a really weird wedding. I'll tell you what. I was like, okay, we didn't have any of that. <laughs> Monta Texas is a beast too. Mm -hmm. It's a big thing. But you know what? A wedding is not about the food. It's about people coming to witness that you are married. Okay. And these people spend thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars on weddings. All right. I've, I've seen so many weddings that were extravagant and the uh, bride and groom didn't even know the people at the wedding. There may be 300 people and they didn't know half the people there because it was like a business adventure uh, for the parents, I think. And um, uh, so those, that's, was really sad. I had one, one bride. Okay. So I had this really big posh wedding on, on the big ballroom. And then we had another smaller ballroom and we had another little wedding over there. This is no lie. 
this and the like. And I was a catering manager for the small wedding. And we had my, um, the, the, the big catering managers had the big wedding, the big Jewish wedding going over on the big ballroom. Right. And no, lo and behold, this, I do not make this stuff up. Okay. The brides had the same dress. The brides had the same dress. New wife shouldn't be all the power shaking. I think it was hungry. <laughs> we had tons of fusion and magic and flowers. Yeah. And, and uh, the brides, both had the brides. And you know who noticed it first with the waiters? Because the waiters were like in between everything. It's like, oh my God, the, wait, the, the brides had the same dresses on. We keep them apart, keep them apart, you know. But eventually they saw that they, they each other had the same dress on. <laughs> Not a lot. Okay, so this this has been fun. I love talking to y'all. Baptists can't make standing up, can't make love standing up because they are they're afraid people will think they're dancing. <laughs> well, you know the definition of dancing. Uh, the ver is the is the ver the uh, definition of dancing is your um, horizontal desires. Okay, just FYI. Uh, same. I grew up Southern Baptist, not party till the preacher is dancing to the wobble song. <laughs> I don't think they even sound songs like that. Well, I've been to several, several Southern weddings and they're, they're all the same. They're all the same. Okay. Very low key on food. You go in, you make sure you're there on time. Okay. Now I did have a few weddings that they were an hour late. Okay. And talk about being an hour late. This is, this is nowhere to lie. We had uh, a wedding and they had an outdoor reception and the bride the bride was they were an hour late we're like oh my gosh and we, and we saw this storm rolling in no lie and we're at the hotel nika was up on the japanese gardens we had this beautiful round table with this beautiful ice sculpture on it and there's like shrimp on there and everything else you know just beautiful and they were like well, when are these people going to come because it's going to rain you know well lo and behold they didn't they didn't arrive yet but a big storm came over okay and it literally, the wind knocked over the ice sculpture in the in this uh, thing. It, it went right over. It was a mess. All right, but the only thing that we saw was the the rain was coming, and I was I was a manager on duty at MOD, and the waiters all they did is like, oh my gosh, they just went and picked up the food, okay, before before the rain before it came over, and took it right inside. So the food was saved, but the air, ice carving couldn't be saved. It was unbelievable. So you could you could you can't dance without horizontal desires. Well, usually, usually dancing upright is your horizontal desire. So <laughs> think about it. <laughs> we forget off that subject. We, we keep this G. We keep this show G rated. Okay. Sometimes we get a little PG. Okay. Uh, let's see. The Hispanic Mexican wedding is all day and night. Is that a three day event? <laughs> some, some weddings are three day events. <laughs> I don't think I've been to a Hispanic wedding. I've been to a lot of weddings, y'all. A lot. Back in the day. Back in my 30s, we would have weddings almost every weekend at the Hotel Nico. And I would work every, every, and remember I told you yesterday about wearing colors and where you wear red, like people look at you when you walk into a room. When you wear black, people don't really see you, okay? Especially when you're mixed in with a lot of people. And the same goes with your shoes. You can walk in and as long as your boss sees you look with nice shoes on, it only takes one look, all right? And then, like, halfway through the night, I would put a different pair of flat shoes on or something like that. I'd be like, okay, get rid of those shoes. Because most of the times when you have a wedding, it's in, like, a hotel uh, conference room. And it's uh, treated concrete on there. And it's really bad walking on your on it. Or marbles, what really bad on your back walking. Okay, but that's about 20 hours. Yeah. Mm. You know what I saw? You know, I don't think I've seen that tink. But I'm the best. Wow. You know what I've seen uh, is on TV. I love talking to y'all. All right. I wish, does anybody want to come on board? Um, I like um, the gypsy weddings, the gypsy weddings. Thank you for the high five award, Larry. How are you doing? Middle Eastern weddings are so fun. To, tons of food. Yes. Yeah. That I do know. Now, I did have an Indian wedding. All right. I did several Indian weddings when I was working at the, at the Georgia International Convention Center. And let's say the, the parents planned the wedding. All right. And a lot of times the it's a range. All right. This is this is one wedding that took me by surprise. It was like culture shock going to New Orleans. Well, this is this is a wedding that was culture shock to me. But 
the parents were really nice. I met them. They had the horse-drawn carriage with the white thing going on, you know, and the girls, I think she's in red. So anyway, they were like, come meet my daughter because I never met the bride. I never met the bride uh, at, during this whole entire thing. And in an Indian wedding, you have a women on one side of the room and you have to have the wall between them, okay? So the women are on one side and the men are on the other side, no lie. And then you have like an open area. So we had to have a room that was like square, but there's a there's a wall here like a wall straight down here. And then down here is the main, the main um, uh, wedding part. But up here, men on one side, women on the other side. And um, uh, so I went out and they had her undercover, like under the covers, you know, like a big a veil and come meet my daughter. You know, like, okay, I never met the bride. And I always, I love, you know, Indian weddings, right? Yeah, the, the bride wears red. And, um, and they're done up with henna. And that's a that's a that's a three day event, the Indian weddings, because they do everything before the henna hand and stuff like that. And I went underneath underneath this veil, and lo and behold, there was this little girl there. I was like, oh my god! I mean, I thought the girl the girl looked like she was like just teenager, you know, like maybe sixteen and max, sixteen max. I, I was like, I know, uh, and uh, I was, I would uh, let's say I was speechless. I was speechless, y'all. I love me some black attire. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a black girl when it comes to color. <laughs> you know what? I used to be the same way. I used to love to wearing the color black, but down in the South, when you wear black, that it, 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 it the, the uh, sun radiates inside and it makes you hotter wearing black. So I don't have as much black in the summer here in the South as I do in the winter. I'll wear black in the winter. Chuck, waffle time. We're eating the waffle, y'all. <laughs> Nigerian weddings are festive and fun too. Glamorous food and money drinks. We're eating our waffle. We got one saved over there. We'll do it for our final shot. Okay. This is so good. All five points of it. All right. Well, we're going to crack an egg and crack, do an egg on here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. No syrup. You know what? Since I've been on Weight Watchers, I don't crave as enough. <laughs> Dang doll. I made that potato candy and I ate like four slices yesterday. Okay. That was so good. <laughs> no syrup when you have a great, the, the taste of the waffle and the crispiness. All right. So um, one thing, you know how you have chicken fried steak, y'all? Especially at the first time I had chicken fried steak was in Texas. And it came out and it had all this gravy all over. I'm like, you, you messed up the, be the best part by putting the wet stuff on it. So whenever I have chicken fried gravy, not that I have that I have very often, gravy on the side, y'all, because I like that fried part. I want that fried part wet. So why would I put syrup on a crispy waffle? And it is crispy. It's Hear that? Can your waffle do that? <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I have the best time with y'all. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, that's the good coffee. Good coffee right down to the line. I miss you, Alexis. You are so funny. <laughs> no, I, I'm just telling you the honest truth. I'm telling you the honest truth. Chicken and waffles. Oh, my God. Don't mention it. See, Bryce loves chicken and waffles. There's this local place. Mm. down on 17 right before you go into um, Florida uh, my gosh I forget what it's called Bryce goes there for chicken and waffles we went there for dinner I had a salad <laughs> you're good my griddle did a great one no it's not burnt it's brown but it's not burnt you can you can take it out for about a minute minute earlier if you want it like light like light I like it I like it dark I like it dark but we have three different colors here this one's more all, all same color. This one's different colors. I got gravy on the chicken and waffles. Yes, indeed. Mm. Is it Shirley's? No. God, I'm trying to think of the name of the restaurant. I think Shirley's. It's so good there. My mom, my mom goes there for for liver and onions. Okay, but you can get like all southern food there, like fried green tomatoes and fried okra there. Yeah, you fried fried fish, catfish, and all. Mmm. Yeah, you know, I, I brought out the, the strawberries for it. So I'm going to leave these for later. Oh, and I got in my coffee, y'all. Wow, we made a mess. Oh. 
Now we have coffee drenched co uh, thing, and I have coffee all over the place here. Let's have some, let's have a strawberry with coffee coffee strawberry. That one took a dasher, y'all. Wow, and that coffee went everywhere. Well, I was only gonna have a half a cup anyway, short one. And it really did. Wow, we messed up a place. Well, let me get that off. Ooh. There, let's get that. Get that over there. Oh, I need that name. All right. Got everything. I'm cleaning up here because we got to go. We got, we, now that we made a mess, <laughs> we really made a mess. Right, let's put some water in here. <sighs> I got to clean up a mess now. The joy of light TV. I was going to make blueberry muffins for breakfast. Now I'm thinking waffles. Yeah, the waffles. Where did I put my waffle? We only have a little bit of waffle left. And I have a drip of coffee because most of it got spilt all over here. I mean, I got to clean up my whole entire stove here. Mm. So if you find value in my scopes and my talk chat here with y'all, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're watching, give a heart, a thumbs up, a hug has a reaction. Reactions do count. Okay. So do a reaction saying, Hey, you know, um, <laughs> You know, you can do awards also here on HAPS. That that just gives you a little, the, the broadcaster saying, hey, I appreciate your your um, uh, broadcast here. Uh, you can also uh, be part of um, Pamper Chef. All right. If you want to, uh, if you want this thing in your in your kitchen, please reach out to me. I'd love to get this into your kitchen. You can pay full price for it, or you can actually save money by hosting your own show, or you can actually earn money and get this absolutely free. Now, get this. Do you, do you have a strawberry? Yeah, I do have, I have more strawberries left. We just dropped one into the coffee and it went all over. All right, so Pampered Chef is offering this deluxe grill and griddle for free when you become a Pampered Chef consultant, all right? They're also, Marlena, thank you for the high five over it. So Pampered Chef is giving you the quick cooker when you submit $500 or more when you become a new new consultant and you get this deluxe griddle and griddle, um, the, the electric one here, for free when you submit $12.50 in sales in your first 30 days. That's about four shows, okay? Uh, Bruce, Chris Bruce, oh my gosh. I think you're on my list. Yes, Chris Bruce, you got to go back. You got to go back and watch the replay, okay? I got something for you. Go back and watch the replay. All right. So anyway, um, re reach out to me. All right. Because I'm doing ring, ring and dinghies um, now. Okay. We, we're going to call people out here on on HAPS. <clears throat> and uh, if they answer, that's great. But I'm leaving messages here on HAPS for people uh, that I'm giving shout outs to. And I'm going to send you something. Okay. This is Sam, by the way. Chill vibes. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, Sam. You changed your name totally. All right. So anyway, Chris Bruce, uh I, I did say your name. Okay. I did say your name. Okay. So anyway, I got something for you, you but you have to, you have to uh, email me. Okay. I do not do Facebook. How else do you order pamper chat? All right. So uh, the link is in my profile right here, Marlena. All right. Right here. I'm going to put it down. It's a link tree. There you go. And it's right back here. The link tree, Alexis. See right there. You can, Hey Karen, thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, Karen and I, I got a little tired on Karen, on Karen last night. She did too. He said, I'll talk, talk to you in the morning. Um, uh, but you can become a Pampered Chef consultant. And when you host a show, you, when you do uh, parties, um, you get f stuff for free. All right. The link is in my profile. In that link tree right there, you can look at the new catalog. You can order on the uh, any of the host parties that are going on, including the share rewards with, or the mystery, or no, it's not mystery, it's called the um, uh, customer appreciation party. We have a customer appreciation party going on right now. And all the orders are going to be held until Saturday. So get your order in now. And if you order, um, I think through today, I'm giving you something for free. I'll send it to you in the mail, okay? That's a physical thing that I'm sending to you in the mail if you order today. So put your orders in on Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. And uh, we'll submit all the orders on Saturday, and you'll get a percentage off, okay? Okay, Chris Bruce, you're in. You're awesome. Thanks. K K Chaos. Okay. So anyway, Pampered Chef has uh, three kits available, and one kit is so cheap that this is so easy to start your own business for $39. You're going to get a um uh a cast iron pan with that you're gonna get a seasoning and there's a couple other products in there 
uh, you're going to get $130 worth of products for $39 to start your own business, including your own website and all of your training to become a Pampers Chef consultant. Okay. So when you uh, submit um, your, your orders, you can basically for $39, all right, you can make $1,391 in 30 days. You can make almost $1,400. You're going to spend $39 on your kit, all right, but you're going to get your commission. You're going to get the quick cooker. You're going to get this deluxe grill here. You're going to get $70 worth of, of products from Pampered Chef for the summer line because there's a new summer line when you submit $1,000 when you're a consultant. You get a wards, and it's going to be $70 worth of Pampered Chef that's coming out in the summer. And you also get your commission on that amount, okay? So you can make $1,400, okay, in product and, and dollars when you become a Pampered Chef consultant. If we order today, what is the offer? Okay, so today we're doing the... Um, the customer appreciation right now it's 2.5 percent off all right and i will send you a personal gift in the mail a personal gift in the mail now it's nothing really big but it's something that is brand new okay i help multiple kits i help multiple kits just in my kitchen oh yeah multiple kits uh yeah so anyway um and and you can put 25 dollars towards the 39 dollar kit and become a pampered chef consultant all right your free stuff uh karen you can put it on that and just get rid of the of the um the splatter thing and put $25 towards this kit and you become a Pampered Chef consultant. All right. And then you can earn the quick cooker and this free when you do, but you have to work. I will do the parties for you, your first one, but you're going to have to like learn really quick. Okay. And if you're on social media and you're really lickety split, you're great to go. But if you're a person that says, well, I don't know how to copy and paste Alexis. I'm like, ah, you have to learn how to copy and paste y'all, y'all, y'all. You have multiple kits to say, <laughs> oh, you have a lot. Okay. So anyway, there's three kits available, $159, $99, and $39 only in the month of March, okay? And you can earn this grill, this uh, grill griddle, and that quick cooker free when you spend $12.50. The first one, and there's other things that you're going to earn too, like the, uh, uh, the ceramic egg uh, cooker and the mini whisk. When you submit, when you submit five hundred dollars, you get that, uh, and I think there's something else you get too. So there's free stuff in there. But anyway, message me, and I will send you. I'll put, the, I'll post this up on my um, uh, VIP group. All right, if you're on 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 Facebook, if you're not on Facebook, you can follow me on Instagram. I do post sometimes on there, but not as regularly. I do. Po I have been posting. Go back and look at my um, my profile because yesterday I posted the uh, recipe. Um, I think it was Melissa Sarah, no, um, Mel, Mel, Mel Cooper. Um, or, yeah, Mel Cooper sent me a message and said, hey, do you have that goulash uh, recipe? And I said, no, but I'll type it up. And so I sat down and typed it all up. And that recipe is here on HAPS. So just go into my profile and you'll see recipes in there. And you'll see the tools I use and the picture of the actual goulash is in, is in that picture. I just screenshotted it from um, my VIP group because that's where I put, post most of the stuff. All right. So uh, that's about it. So anyway. Get lots of stuff into your kitchen. I love discounts and I love um, I love stuff for free. All right. So I'm going to open this up because it is nice. It's still hot, y'all. still warm. We're going to put this over here. Get that waffle. We still have the one from my mom left, okay, because we need the final shot, y'all. Put that back in. And I still have a itsy bitsy piece left, y'all. Okay. So one more shout out, okay. One more shout out. Who am I going to call? Who am I going to call? Let's get. Let's call him. Let's call him. Okay. These phones, rotary phones, you know, they take forever. Okay. So anyway, let's call. We're making a phone call. Last, last shout out today. Okay. If your name was called, message me. Okay. All right. One ring and baby. Two ring and dingy. Three ring and dingy. Oh my goodness. Nobody's home anymore, you know? All right. Uh, answering machine. All right. So let me see. Hello. Okay. okay. Hey, Daniel. Daniel Bailey. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, Daniel, you missed it. I'm here on HAPS. I'm calling you because I have something special for you. Something really, really special for you. But I need you to message me. All right. The link is in my profile. It's uh, the link tree. Um, let's see, H H T E. Yeah, it's link tree, L I N K dot E E backslash A L E X I S underscore C A N D O. Message me. 
on on um just scroll down once you see that thing and it says send alexis a message and i would have something for you i want to send to you okay so anyway just message me saying hey i got your message on haps please um what what what, what i got okay i'll talk to you later okay i hope you enjoyed the waffles bye all right there we go so let's put that back so we did our we did five we, i think we did uh, we did one two three we did six shout outs today six shout outs okay so if you got to the end, we should did a shout out to Monster Cookie, Jillian 0004, Purple Paisley Planner, Annette, uh, Chris Bruce, Sayed PG, and Daniel Bailey, B-A-I-L-L-L-I-E. I think I put my name too in here. Thank you, uh, Amar, for subscribing. Hello from Sydney, Amar. How are you doing? And uh, the, some of these people don't even live in the United States because I can send it to them, okay? Uh, I, I just want to, I'm feeling very generous. But we're going to be doing some shout outs and sending some stuff to people. Um, if, if you watched my scope, I'm going to go back to the last scope and see who was in there. And I'll give you a shout out and call you uh, ring the ring and dingies, okay, this week, all right? So thanks for coming in. We're going to leave this as our last shot, which is the uh, deluxe. Oh, let me t turn this around. We're going to get it into, into there big, big time, big time, Okay, we had flipped the camera. Great, mate. Yeah, so we did our, our our nice little waffle. Okay, here we did two waffles, one for my mom and one for myself. All right, and we have more mix left to make more because y'all want to see it being made. And let's let's turn it on. There we go. So it looks like it's it's on. All right. So anyway, that's the um, Pampered Chef um, deluxe no, it's the deluxe electronic grill and griddle. Okay yummy in my tummy so we got that and let's leave that has our last shot right there we got the waffle all right so thanks for coming in everybody i appreciate it i'll see you all next time have a great wednesday it's the middle of the week so we only have two more days to get up before the hop before the weekend have a great day i'll see y'all next time bye hello amanda weeks from montreal how are you doing <laughs> i should show you the mess that i have over here it's a, it's a mess <laughs> I splashed my coffee all over the place. Now I have to clean my entire stove. All right. So thanks everybody for coming in. I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.